Baroa Might Monitoring Device. Sponsor, Be Informed Partnership. There were two main goals of this project. One, to design and build a device that automates the shaking process of removing Varroa mites from honeybees in the field. Two, to accurately count bees utilizing a vision system. This project has important implications because it will make the process of checking bee colonies for Varroa mite infestation easier. Constraints. The device needed to be powered by an energy source that would be available in the field. Additionally, the device needed to be temperature and water resistant. Lastly, the device needed to be lightweight in order to be transferred from hive to hive. Some of the most important specifications included the following. Having a footprint of less than 24 inches by 24 inches, keeping weight less than 40 pounds, the container needed to be airtight, and the cycle time needed to fall within the range of one to four minutes. Chosen agitation method. The final design features a bubble agitation method where air is pumped and then dispersed in the container. The air bubbles rise through a mixture of isopropyl alcohol, bees, and mites, causing them to tumble. Tumbling causes the mites to separate from the bees. Agitation takes place in two custom PVC containers that are each connected to pumps for running simultaneous cycles. Important components include a rechargeable power supply, a timer for controlling cycle time, and a drip pan for capturing used alcohol. The device was designed with DIY in mind, meaning that hobbyists and commercial beekeepers alike can purchase the components and build their own devices with common tools. Some challenges that we faced during this project included the clumping of freshly dead bees, which hindered tumbling and thus mite removal. Due to the time of the year that the project started, the availability of fresh samples and samples with mites was limited. Simulation was challenging due to the complex shapes and structures of bees' bodies and the random nature of turbulent flows. Lastly, clumping in the z-axis was a major issue for counting bees with a vision system. Results. The project was a success. The device had an effectiveness of greater than 95% in lab tests and 87% in field tests. Additionally, 500 annotated images of bees were collected for future development of a vision system.